You have to love what you do. And I'm not going to go over that long, but it solves a lot of problems. Because when you love what you do, when you really love what you do, you work harder. You want to be totally focused. You can't take your eye off the ball. When I had troubles in the early 90s, a major article came out and it said very strongly, everything he touches turns to gold. And I believed it. So I'd go out with models at night instead of working. But that wasn't good. And I remember I had a big lease coming up and I, there was a big show and I went to the show. I said, don't worry, fellas, you can handle the lease. You'll get it done. Well, I came back, they didn't get it done. And I would have had it done 100 percent. And then the market crashed in the 90s. So I had trouble. But it was sort of an amazing I wouldn't want to do it again. It was an amazing test of yourself. Can you handle pressure? How are you under pressure? Are you smart? Never, ever give up. You can change and you can move around, but never, ever give up. I know people that are very smart. They went to the Wharton School of Finance with me. I know other people that aren't as smart. And those people are the top people in industry today and the top, they just were tougher. They didn't give up. And the smart ones had everything on their plate that always come in with the A plus on the tests and the good boards and everything else. But when they ran into problems, they didn't know how to solve the problems like the guys that weren't as good. And it's very seldom that you see something other than this happen. So never, ever give up. I love the game. I, I like the money, and the money is certainly a, a method of keeping score. But I don't do things for money. I do things because I enjoy doing them. That really sometimes can translate into more money than you would have made if you went just after the money. And... To be a winner, you have to think like a winner. If you don't think like a winner, it's just never going to happen. Sometimes in life, to be successful, oftentimes, most of the time, you have to follow your instincts. You have to follow your gut. You have to. Your parents may say wrong. Your whoever may say wrong, but you have to do it. So much of success is seeing yourself as victorious. You have to see yourself. You have to really believe in yourself. And sometimes it's hard. You know, you've had failures, you've had weaknesses, you've had other things. You have to see yourself as a one-man band. Don't rely too much on other people because they'll let you down. You have to see yourself as victorious. Gary Player, the great golfer, he was a little guy, very little, but he worked really hard. And he had a great statement, but he'd go... The harder I work, the luckier I get. And he wins the U.S. Open. You have all these big, handsome guys, these big, giant guys, and they're hitting the ball a mile. And you have Gary Player. And Gary Player would win the Open. He'd win the Masters. He'd win this. He'd win that. And he said, you know, hey, he, in the U.S. Open, he hit a five iron to one foot from the hole, and he ended up getting a birdie and wins the U.S. Open, right? And he came off the green. Now, I, I know I've heard the statement before, but I heard it from him in a meaningful way. They said, what do you think, Gary? What is it? He said, all I know is I've been working very hard. And the harder I work, the luckier I get. I thought it was an amazing statement. You have to love what you do. And I'm not going to go over that long, but it solves a lot of problems. Because when you love what you do, when you really love what you do, you work harder. You want to be totally focused. You can't take your eye off the ball. When I had troubles in the early 90s, a major article came out and it said very strongly, everything he touches turns to gold. And I believed it. So I'd go out with models at night instead of working. But that wasn't good. And I remember I had a big lease coming up and I, there was a big show and I went to the show. I said, don't worry, fellas, you can handle the lease. You'll get it done. Well, I came back, they didn't get it done. And I would have had it done 100 percent. And then the market crashed in the 90s. So I had trouble. But it was sort of an amazing, I wouldn't want to do it again. It was an amazing test of yourself. Can you handle pressure? How are you under pressure? Are you smart? One of the things people talk about is luck. And I do believe that people are lucky and some people are luckier than others. I do believe that. But there's also an expression, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And I can tell you 10 instances where I didn't quit when it was 1990, the world was coming down, the debt markets were to everybody, all of my friends and enemies were going bankrupt, I never did, and the, but try, I mean, the times were actually just terrible, and even today, you look at times, and you see what happens, and you have to learn, 
But the word luck is very interesting. But if I didn't work really hard, I probably would not, almost definitely would not be here today. And so you have to work hard because it is true. You can develop luck through hard work. Well, I do it because I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. I have bad days. I have good days. I have days somewhere in the middle. But the end result is I love what I'm doing, and I don't do it for the money. And I make money because probably I'm not doing it for the money. I do it, and I do it well. I'm the biggest developer in New York. I love building buildings. I have a lot of fun building buildings. The fact is I do it for fun. I do it for game. I do it for sport. I happen to make a lot of money doing it. If I didn't enjoy it, if I didn't really love what I'm doing, I wouldn't be successful. I wouldn't be sitting with you today. Going forward, never stop. It may seem like you have no chance. It may seem like it's over. Never, ever quit. If you're a quitter, I hope you quit right now and stop watching immediately because you'll never make it. It's great if it works. Now, it doesn't always work. And you really have to be smart to go against the tide because you're going against a lot of smart people. But when you get it right, you'll end up better, whether it's Microsoft or Google. I mean, so many people that have really hit big have gone against the tide. But you have to have great confidence in yourself. You have to be the right person. There are very few people that can pull it off. But when you pull it off, it's great. I've always believed in positive thinking. At the same time, I don't want to mislead. I also believe in aspiring in terms of what you're doing, aspiring to protect against the downside. You can't just be this wonderful guy walking around, everything's positive because unfortunately that's not the way the world is. I love to tell people to think about the challenges so that when they do come along, you're ready. Because you, no matter how successful you are, I have many, many friends and enemies and I've watched people and I've seen it. And people that can handle pressure can be entrepreneurs, can be successful. Now, I have some friends that are really, really smart, but they can't handle pressure. In which case, they should work for somebody, do great, and have a good life. There's nothing wrong with it. Because I almost think that's an instinctive thing, the ability to handle pressure. Now, one of the things I tell people about pressure, but you have to have the ability to handle pressure. And if you can't handle pressure, you have to know that about yourself. You have to know that about yourself. So, handle pressure. If you can't, that's okay. But one of the things I tell people about handling pressure is you've got to be able, you've got to be able to sort of say to yourself, nothing matters that much other than the real big deals with family, with your family.